Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create and run the Hirons Boot CD, specifically version 15.1, the latest version at the time of making this video. Now for those of you who don't know, the Hirons Boot CD is a bootable software CD containing a number of freeware diagnostic programs such as system performance benchmarks, disk cloning, data recovery, master boot work on a BIOS tools and many others for fixing various computer problems. Many people consider the Hirons Boot CD an invaluable free tool for use in troubleshooting and recovery of computers. Now before I begin the tutorial itself, I'd just like to say that any links that are used or shown in this video can be found in the description box below. I'd just like to show you the sheer number of programs on this amazing CD. I'm just going to keep scrolling down here. Over time this CD has become very useful as more and more programs are added on each new version which is updated regularly. So, the first thing you should do is go to this site, the link is in the description box below, and just scroll down a little until you get to this box just here. Then click the link hirons.bootcd.15.1.zip and that will start the download. Now it's about 498 megabytes in size so it will take a little bit of time, I'll just skip that along in this video. Once the file is finished downloading, simply click it to open the zip file and then click extract all files at the top. Now it doesn't matter where you extract it to but for ease of use I've made a file in my documents which I have called Hirons Boot CD. So I'm going to extract the files there. You can extract it wherever you want to as long as you know where that place is. Once you've chosen your location you can then click the extract button. Wait for the files to extract. Once it's finished extracting, you can then go to that very location and then double click burn cdcc.exe, the executable file, and then click the run button if any security warnings appear. Now at this point you should put a blank CD into your CD drive, I'm just going to do that now. If any autoplay dialogues appear similar to this one, simply close it by clicking the cross in the top right of the window. Then click the Browse button and select the Hirons Boot CD ISO file from the folder that you extracted the files into. So as you can see it's automatically found that for me, so all I have to do is double click it to select it. Then you've got to make sure that the device selected here is the same one that has your CD in. If you have more than one CD drive you have to choose it from here, but if you only have one it will automatically be selected for you. Then tick the box next to read verify and the box next to finalize and then drag this slider down to 32 times and DVD 4 times like so. Optionally you can have auto eject selected which will mean that the CD is automatically ejected from your drive upon finishing the burning process. Once you've done this simply click the start button. The process will then begin. As you can see it now says writing image to disk and this will take a given amount of time depending on the speed of your drive, the speed of the CD itself. Now it goes without saying that the CD must have a capacity of 500 megabytes or more because the Hirons Boot CD ISO is about 498 megabytes. So the standard size of CD would probably be 700 megabytes, although a 4.7 gigabyte CD or higher will still work. You should also note that doing this is like reformatting a disk, so any other data on the disk will be deleted. So this disk should just be for the Hirons Boot CD and make sure that you haven't got any important data on it beforehand. Make sure that data is backed up. It will then say closing disk towards the end of the process. It will then do a short read verifying process. It will then say complete here once the process is finished and if you had auto eject selected the disk will automatically be ejected from your CD drive. You can then take the CD out and you now have the Hirons Boot CD which can be run at boot up. And I'm going to show you how exactly you can run it at boot up right now. So you can now close all of the open programs and Windows Explorer windows. Now to be able to run the CD you will need to restart your computer with the CD in your CD drive. Upon turning on your computer, you'll be presented with a boot screen which is different depending on what motherboard you have. So it's most likely going to look different to what I've got here. However, I'm going to use mine as an example to demonstrate what you should be looking for. 
So there's two ways to boot from a CD. The first and probably easiest way is to use a boot menu. So as you can see here at the bottom of my boot screen, it says F12 boot menu. So I know that if I want the boot menu to appear, I have to keep tapping F12 on my keyboard until it appears. However, if you can't see a boot menu on your particular boot screen, then please click this annotation now to go to my video on how to change the boot order in the BIOS, which is the other way to boot from a CD. However, if you do have a boot menu, bring that up by tapping the key that it tells you to on the bottom of your boot screen. So I'm just going to do that now. So after a relatively short amount of time, a boot menu similar to this one should appear. You should then select CD-ROM from this list and hit enter to select it. So use the arrow keys to get down to CD-ROM and then hit enter to select it. It will then begin to boot from the CD. This shouldn't take too long. And there we have it, the Heroes Boot CD 15.1 window has appeared. So that concludes my video on how to create and run the Heroes Boot CD 15.1. I do have other tutorials on how to use specific programs in the Heroes Boot CD and they can be found in the description box below if you're interested. Those tutorials include how to remove a Windows password, a BIOS password, and I'm also happy to take requests on programs to use in this CD if you so wish. I hope you found it useful and thanks for watching.